I've only ever dreamt of weather. Ever since I was a kid. Kids who dream of weather only grow up to be meteorologists. Two and a half decades after my first dream, I was a renowned weather expert. I worked my way up the ladder fast and hard, and maybe not always by the book. I cornered all areas of the game, broadcast, research, forensics. But my area of expertise is hurricanes. I can forecast the most cautious weather systems. I can target any rogue cyclone trends. I've always lived in Jupiter, Florida, hurricane ground zero. All I've ever known are these storms. I ride the Doppler tight. I spend days cruising for action. But this isn't just a story about weather. It's also about dreams. The one constant of my life has been the storm that first appeared in my dreams when I was six. She churns through my head nightly as I sleep. The storm's eye gazing back at me, never blinking. The wind whispering and breathy. The air heavy and untamed. Each dream is more vivid than the last. During the day, I write down what I remember. She rolls by angrily one minute and coyly the next. A dense body of swirling activity in a world of turbulent weather. A crimson cyclone that tears apart other storms and consumes them. She never touches down over solid ground, so she never weakens. She's always strong. She's not from here. She's from a place where clouds are made of crystals. A realm of swirling gases. An atmosphere of crushing pressure. She's the master tempest driven by an internal fever. She's been brewing for centuries and there is no sign that she's slowing down. I dream of a cosmos of soft red. Do you believe in duty? Can you believe in destiny? I'm going home. I'm going home.